Hey guys, my name is Regina Floyd of Freedom to Live Life Well, coming to you from fabulous Las Vegas, and I want to tell you a quick story. I want to tell you how a Las Vegas police officer turns to internet marketing for freedom. How freedom was pursued, okay? And what happened is, back in the early part of 2008, I was working as a Las Vegas police sergeant for the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, working a graveyard shift. And um, I was a single mom, still am, and had, at that time, my daughter was very young, and she was at home alone with my elderly mother, who I was taking care of, living with, and caring for. So I would go to work at night and leave my mom and my daughter alone uh, with hopes that they'd be in bed and couldn't really get into any trouble because I was working and they were sleeping, and then I was at home during the day when they were moving and awake. So... On one particular night, I'm working my graveyard shift, and myself and a partner get dispatched to a suspicious vehicle call. And it's a parked, it's a car that's parked in a darked parking lot, darkened out parking lot of a strip outlet mall. So we respond to this call, and we arrive uh, on this car. And once we get there, I recognize the car. I realize that the guy in the car is actually the security officer that patrols this property. I've actually stopped him myself before for the very same reason. So my awareness or my, you know, my perception of danger is not severely heightened because I know who he is. And I'm assuming he can tell, because we've got black and white cars, uniforms, and everything, that he can tell who we are. So we stop we stop, um, my partner gets out, he starts to approach and, and starts to command, you know, give commands to the driver to uh, be able to maybe step out so we can see him, see his hands. And I'm doing the radio traffic, just checking out on it, giving the plate and so forth. And as I get done with that, I get out of my car and I start to approach thinking, I know this guy and he can see who we are. I, um, I see that my partner is having a verbal, a verbal discussion and it's getting escalated. And my part, I look over and my partner's got his taser out. Well, what's happening is the gentleman in the car, the security officer, is not complying with my partner's requests to show his hands and just, you know, officer safety type stuff that we do. And within split seconds, probably milliseconds, as I'm on my way to that car to be part of this discussion, I'm halfway between my car and his. I have no cover. And the next thing I know, he's arguing with my partner. My partner's got his taser out. And the guy draws a weapon and points it to the ground. So I immediately draw my weapon, and I'm starting to retreat, to back up, to get behind my car for cover, watching, watching every move, every breath this man takes. And you can imagine the adrenaline going on at that point. I, you know, it's just surreal, where I hear my partner talking to me, I hear him talking to him, I'm retreating, my gun is drawn almost automatically, and I get back to the car, I get behind cover, I get on the radio and get more backup. And thank God, you know, by the grace of God, the whole thing ends with him finally getting, you know, getting on the ground, giving up his weapon with a whole cavalry of people there. But thank God there was no shooting. But it hit me at that particular moment. I'm like, oh my gosh, this could have gone any number of ways. It could have gone, it could have turned into a gun battle where we're shooting each other. All of us are shooting each other. Any, num any one of us could have been shot, could have been killed, and that could have been it. And I, was, I just realized that, oh my gosh, I have a daughter and a parent at home that are depending on me for everything. They depend on me to, to cook, to clean, to take care of them, to be there, and they're at home abandoned if I was to die that night. And shortly thereafter, my mother had a heart attack, and um, I just decided, you know what? That my vision for my life does not include leaving my family abandoned. My vision for my life means that I, I wanted my freedom. I wanted my freedom to be with my family. I wanted my freedom to know that I was going to be at home safe with them. I wasn't going to be taken. My life wasn't on the line. And I made a decision. And I made a decision to find a way to replace a six-figure income. Because although I love my job, I love the adrenaline, love the people I worked with, love serving the public, I wasn't willing to put my life on the line anymore and possibly be taken for a paycheck. And so what I did is I turned to internet marketing. And that's how a police officer <laughs> turns to internet marketing for freedom. And how a police officer finds freedom in online marketing. And I found a way to, to generate a six-figure income working from home, working from my kitchen table. We're working actually, honestly, from anywhere I want. I've even been in Kauai on my laptop working. Because I can do that. I can work from anywhere that I want to be. And I, I just made a decision, 
And I just encourage you that if you're looking for a way to create freedom in your life, that you can also make some freedom. You can also decide. You can create the life you want. You can make a decision. You can take your life back. You can own your time. You can own your, your life, own your income, master your income. And it doesn't have to be as drastic as what I did. You don't have to walk away from your job if you don't want to, but that's the choice I made. I made a choice to pursue my freedom. I wanted a lifestyle of freedom, and that's what I did. And I just encourage you to click the links that you see here. Find out a little bit more. Give me your best email. Let me show you. Let me share with you how I did it. Let me share with you the vehicle because I'm not the only one. There's a freedom movement happening in our world right now. And it's about taking back your life. It's about taking back the life that you want to live, creating it how you want to live it. And it can be done because if a police officer from Las Vegas can get her freedom back with online marketing, you can too. Check it out. I'll see you on the other side. Take care. Make it a fabulous day. You deserve it. Bye-bye now.